So we're given uh, this series of capacitors here, and uh, we're asked to find the total voltage that we could do across this entire thing. If we know that each one of these can only have a maximum of 100 voltage, um, and then we're going to try to find the maximum energy that's possible to store in that as well. So we're going to condense this into one capacitor, um, C123, and that's going to be added up in series. So we're going to have to do the reciprocal of all those. We're going to get 1 over 12 uh, plus 1 over 21.5 plus 1 over 26.5. And that will give us this crazy number, which is like 27348 over 4583. We'll simplify that down um, by taking the reciprocal here. So 27348. Divide by four five eighty three. Uh, basically, get uh, five point nine six seven as the uh, first capacitance, and this would be in microfarads. So that's gonna be like the total thing that we can do. For everything. Uh, that's gonna come in handy later, but we also know something very important. First, let's take a look at. C equals Q over V. And we'll realize that if the voltage increases, then um, if V increases, then uh, then C is going to decrease, right? Because uh, the denominator is going to get too big. So we want to make sure that, like, as this capacitance decreases, this voltage is just going to be the maximum. So this right here should have 100 voltage. So we can figure out what the charges on this um, by taking um, uh, by multiplying 12 by 100 so we're gonna get 1200 for uh, this is coulombs 1200 coulombs and I should actually make micro coulombs so micro coulombs across this thing now because these are ser in series that's actually going to be distributed across all of these so we can actually put that right here 1200 microcoulombs. Remember, that was just gotten from this equation here. We've got the 12 microfarads here, and then multiplying it by 100 volts, we get 12 microcoulombs. Um, and because we now know the, the voltage the charge, we can figure out the voltage. So we're just going to divide 1200 by 21, 1200 by 21.5. And here we get the uh, voltage of 55.8. And then here we're going to get 1200 divided by 26.5, giving us a voltage of 45.3. And so when we add that all up, we should get a total voltage of about uh, 201.1. Okay, great. Uh, so that's going to be the first answer. Now, for the max energy storage, we kind of have to look back at this because the max energy storage U, potential energy, um, is supposed to be Q squared divided by 2C. And we're just going to use the charge, which we have right here. It's 1200 millicoulombs, and we're going to divide that more squared first. But we're going to divide that by um, 2C, which is going to be 2 times this C, which is 5.967 microfarads. And um, let's plug in 1,200 microcoulombs, negative 6 divided by 2 times 5.967 microfarads, negative 6. We're going to square the top. And, uh, and then we're going to get um, 0 0.12 joules. That's the maximum energy stored. All right. 